Okay, I'm going to quickly go through the um, body landmarks for the knee with your skeleton, so you have the same one. Um, the good news, I guess, is that the knee has relatively fewer bony landmarks than the hip. Um, so we started at the proximal femur um, in the hip, and now we're moving down to the distal femur at the knee. So um, at the knee, really, there are four um, bones involved, the femur, the patella, the tibia, and the fibula. Um, so we're going to look at some of the landmarks on there. In your lab manual, um, on the page that has chapter 10 at the top and is labeled laboratory activities, um, it has a list of bony landmarks and those are the ones that um, will be potentially on the osteology quiz. Um, the ones that have asterisks are ones that can be easily palpated on a human being. So um, the medial and lateral condyles, those can both, um, uh, the epicondyles can be palpated. The condyles are, you can palpate them to the anterior portion of the knee, but they're the articulating surface of the knee. So um, the epicondyles are just above the condyle. So the lateral epicondyle is um, strangely enough, on the lateral side of the femur. The medial epicondyle is on the medial side of the fem femur. Just superior to the medial epicondyle is the adductor tubercle, which we talked about as an attachment for the adductor magnus in the hip chapter. So the epicondyles of the femur are medial, medial and lateral on either side. The condyles are the joint surfaces, medial and lateral. Okay? So the condyles of the femur articulate with the epicondyles of the tibia. The articulating surface of the tibia, of course, the condyles are um, convex and the tibia is concave slightly. Um, the uh, condyles of the tibia, the flat part on the top is what's known as the tibial plateau, and the little point in the middle is known as the intercondylar eminence. Um, the tibial plateau and the intercondylar eminence cannot be palpated um, on an intact human being, um, but the tibial tuberosity, which is the, the most anterior um, portion of the proximal tibia where the quadriceps tendon attaches or the patellar tendon it's also known as, um, that can be easily palp uh, palpated. The um, lateral and medial tibial condyles um, can be palpated on their um, lateral and medial aspects of them. The fibular head is on the lateral side of the tibia. If you start at the medial epicondyle of the tibia and go down to the joint line and then just go inferior and posterior, you'll end up right on that fibular head. And that's an attachment for the um, iliotibial band and the um, biceps femoris. So um, that's a big attachment point. So the patella sits in the intercondylar groove of the femur. So you can see the groove right there and the patella sits right in that groove. Posteriorly, we have the intercondylar notch in between the two condyles. So it's a groove in the front and a notch in the back, if you want to think of it that way. Anterior is the groove where the patella sits. Posterior is the notch between the two condyles. So the um, patella, the base of it is the top flatter part here, and the apex is the point at the bottom. So um, base of the patella, apex of the patella. So all of those um, on the patella are palpable. The posterior surface of the patella, of course, is not palpable, um, but it's the part that articulates with the femur um, forming the patellofemoral joint. So um, just to review intercondylar groove, intercondylar notch, lateral condyle, here, medial condyle, lateral epicondyle, medial epicondyle, adductor tubercle, that's from the hip, tibial plateau, the point in the middle is the intercondylar eminence, tibial tuberosity, lateral tibial condyle, medial tibial condyle,
vestibular head. Okay, pretty straightforward.